Panic attacks at the Louvre. My doctor says I should stop drinking coffee. Picture the scene, 33 years young and one step closer to death. I'm about to break. Use my rudimentary French to order magic bean juice. Soon cafe noir americano s'il vous plaît and the guy with moustache understood me. I guess I drank it too fast. Paid up quickly and tried to walk it off. Made it to the Louvre beneath the blazing sun. My beating heart at 170 BPM. The queue to get in stretching 300 meters and that's if they'd booked in advance all alone in a foreign country, able to speak the lingo but not to stop shaking. Back to the hotel to sweat and shiver, left arm tingling while the right writes Bon anniversaire and go fuck yourself. Putain de merde, je crois que je suis en train de mourir. Surrounded by schools in Parisian catacombs. I can't help wishing this was Amsterdam. Selfies in the graveyard. They're taking selfies in the graveyard. They're taking selfies while I sit on the bench by Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir. It seems it's tradition to leave metro tickets, snap cigarettes for smokers, and Susan Sontag had a pen and a pencil. I've got nothing to give except an ilk badge, and somehow I don't think that's appropriate. I've got my blood because I bit my fingernails. I spoke in French to a friendly lady. She was sweeping leaves from the family mausoleum. Gave me directions to Baudelaire and I told her I'd already seen Guy de Maupassant. Talk about déjà vu. I found people are kinder in the presence of death. It gives us some sort of false perspective. They're taking selfies in the graveyard. 46.2 acres, 1,200 trees and 42,000 burial sites. They're taking selfies in the graveyard and I only film for TikTok. It's true what they say. It's true what they say about the French. They'll break your heart and make you think the world is ending. And then a man will eat a monkey and the world will end. Or maybe that's just what happened to me. They'll piss in the streets. They'll wear no bra and a tight shirt. They'll take your eye out with a nipple and charge £10 for a beer. Blowing smoke in your face while you count sank on cease missing milliliters. They will not appreciate those seven years you spent learning the language. If you're lucky, they'll sell you things if they think you're their kind of customer. They'll say sante when they bring you a beer if they deign to serve you. It's true, they're not all bad. There's a lady at Montparnasse Cemetery giving directions to Baudelaire and Zaid at the Hotel de Globe is a legend. They call their cat Gigi because of Studio Ghibli. A child on the metro almost smiled at me and even though Amy wouldn't watch the planet die, she cared about seasonal vegetables more than she cared about me. The British tourists are obnoxious, Americans less so but more obvious. The Germans are nice and love their families. The Russians are embarrassed. They must know what we think of them. I don't mean to get political, but I can understand the rise of the right in French politics. I'm more conservative than I'd like to admit. My government is my only reflection, but at least I'm not a Russian man afraid to say je veux des billets. It's true what they say about the Germans and the Russians and the Americans. I've just never fallen in love with one.